Grip strength, a forearm stretch, drops, and ass bar coming up on helpmysquashgame.com. Hi, this is Barb Cooper from helpmysquashgame.com. And we're talking about grip strength today. And the first thing I want you to look at is this silicone ball. It's squishy, but it has some resistance and it's available at most pharmacies. The beauty about this ball is that when you put it in the palm of your hand, you can actually squeeze it and this will allow your hand to get stronger. Now, if you're finding that your fingers are sore or your wrist is sore when you're playing, part of it could be a lack of hand or wrist strength. And so what I'm asking you to do is create some grip endurance by actually practicing this, like just in front of the TV. All you have to do is have this ball in your hand and it's slightly better than a tennis ball because it's a little bit smaller. And if you look at it in terms of a squash ball, it's a little bit bigger. So this is actually purpose made for this particular job, but it will make a difference to how your hands feel and how strong your hands and fingers and wrists are. So now let's look at our forearms and let's really pay attention to how we can stretch them. And this is something you can do regularly. You want to mobilize your wrist and your forearm so that each time when you're stretching it, your arm is straight, but can you see I'm pulling my wrist down towards me? You might find that when you change the position of your arm, you actually feel a different stretch. And what I suggest you do is, while you're working on all of this, make sure that you do both arms. It's funny, but just because you're using your right arm in squash doesn't mean say your left arm doesn't get tight. So you're trying to deliberately stretch your forearms and your wrists so that everything is mobile when you play. Oh no, drops are deadly. I know what you mean. So many people have actually written in and said they have fantastic drop shots when they're in a practice match, but as soon as they're in a tournament, they can't play a drop shot to save their life. Is there a cure? Well, I think what happens is this. You've got to start trusting your drop shot and you've got to start trusting emotionally that you can execute it. So I'm going to suggest you start playing matches as though you care and practice them, those drop shots, from the middle of the court. What I mean is practice them from around the short line because if you can hit a ball, a drop shot from there, you can pretty much hit a drop shot from anywhere. Now, I know you're going to be tight in a tournament. What I mean by tight is your arm's going to be stiff, you're going to be scared, you're going to not swing, you're going to push at the ball, and the ball's going to drop into the tin. However, if you've practiced your drop shots from the middle of the court, from around the service box, then what you'll find is when you get to a match, and even though you feel tight, you'll still be able to have some swing and still be able to get the ball to the front wall. I can guarantee you one thing. If you don't try and hit drop shots in matches, you're never going to get them. You're guaranteed to be in long, long rallies and you're guaranteed not to feel it safe. So I'm going to encourage you to play matches, hit the drop shots from the middle of the court. And if you have to hit them slightly too high and slightly too hard until you can get some confidence, build that confidence, then you'll find it in a match that really, really counts for you like a tournament final. Be brave, you can do it. Hi, and now it's time for Ask Barb. And so many people have written in asking me about weight training, generally saying that they don't have time to weight train and play squash and do all the rest of the stuff and live. So I thought I'd find you a resource and I've got a fabulous one. It's called Max Contraction Training and it's by John Little. 
The premise behind this is that you do one maximum contraction with the largest load that you can. Now, for heaven's sake, do not go running into the gym now and start tossing around lots of major weights saying, Barbara told me to do this. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if this appeals to you, get the book, read the theory, and if you want to cut down your training and maximize your muscle contraction so that you maximize your training and create strength, then this is one of the ways to do it. This is Barb Cooper from HelpMySquashGame.com. See you next show.